So the possibilities of AI uh, in the real world, from a day-to-day -day citizen life perspective, you touch upon healthcare and agriculture, which are relevant to all of us. You see that uh, happening in India on a real-time basis, uh, given your experience in consulting and given your experience in implementation on the ground. Is that right? Is that how you see? Yeah, it? yeah. Actually, it is happening. In fact, uh, in terms of healthcare, uh, we are trying to uh, use this technology for solving problem, the problem of silicosis, which is very prevalent in this region and particularly we are focusing on a district called Sirohi, which is one of the aspirational districts identified by Prime Minister. And they, that is known for stone carving workers. In fact, stone carving is, is a traditional art of Rajasthan, which is all across the world. And these laborers, they suffer from silicosis, that is stone dust gets into their lungs and their life gets curtailed within 45, 50. Now, AI can actually enable us to act detect or diagnosis, diagnose these cases early. And if we can detect early, then based on these prognostic predictions, we can rehabilitate these patients so that they do not face the ultimate. Today, because they are not getting care at the right point in time, the tragedy strikes almost all families in a village where these workers live. And they are contributing to Indian heritage, they are contributing to art, and at the same time, they're sacrificing this life. AI can be a big a contributor in terms of preserving the art and preserving the life. I think that's where the success of AI can come in as AI is moving into everything.